Okay guys, here's my quick guide to Gunner post Wars Onset patch. These are my skills set up. Uh, this is from what the different setups I've tested, this is by far the best. Um, got this setup from a guildy. Uh, slightly modified it. My guildy used this for full auto to keep going when you're at full heat. Instead I put in this so I could have a little bit of a mix so I can do more AoE damage for trash. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's my skill setup. I don't change anything of that. I might at another point make a second set ability set just for AoE trash, but I don't, I don't think it's really necessary. Um, <coughs> rotation wise, burn wise, um, you will swap into your missile stance, which is hold one. You gotta make sure you're a range of 40 from your within 40 from your target. Um, how you know your range is right here, this square that's on my target, bottom right you see uh, it says 5 meters and then as you're going away it says a range. So that is how you tell your range. You gotta make sure you're within 40 meters for your missiles to hit. Uh, some of the other attacks you'll be using are in closer so after you're out of missiles you'll have to move in a little bit but always stay outside as further than 20 meters away um, for your range damage chapels which I will show later um, but your burn your burn rotation is get within 40 meters swapping a missile launcher which is hold one uh, hit two uh, target the boss and have your cursor under the boss's feet and hold C uh, once mine ring is off you hold one until you're out of missiles uh, that is your burn rotation. Um, what I prefer to do is before you go into combat, build up to full heat. So spam, uh, ho spam, hold, right click, rapid fire. Uh, make sure you're not facing an enemy so you don't accidentally aggro. But build up your heat to full. So once you're finished with your missile salvo, when you're out of missiles, <coughs> swap straight to plasma rifle, which is which from missile launcher you'll have to go you'll have to tap one it'll go to mis machine gun tap one again it'll go to plasma rifle when you're in this stance you gotta make sure you're within I believe it's uh, 30 to 35 range so you'll have to move up a little closer um, spam right click four times uh, the second hit is going to do extra damage thanks to this talent so you hit that four times and then you hit left click four times uh, when that's done, you swap to machine gun, so you hit one again, and then you use your fire, which is your C, so you hold that for the full duration, and then you hold left click full auto until you're full heat again. When you're full heat, you go to plasma, and you do the same again, four right, four left, and then back again and repeat until your two key is off cooldown. Uh, you swap between these building heat and lower and using your heat as you do that it reduces the cooldown on this two key when this is your basically your burn skill when this is off cooldown you're going to burn again so when your two is off cooldown you build up your heat to full again and you swap to your missile launcher uh, do your C and hold one and that's your burn rotation again um, equipment wise your main hand you want the missile salvo does 9%, this is the distortion weapon. Always missile salvo for your burn. Um, offhand, always rapid fire, the rest are useless. Um, then rings, always, always, strength, valor, accuracy, temper. Um, you want strength, valor, obviously for damage, accuracy, temper, obviously for damage. Um, <coughs> the temper increases your damage of your missiles a lot more than luck cause, so that's why you go strength valor or strength temper instead of the strength luck accuracy crit actually yeah strength luck accuracy crit uh, rotation you want to go with accuracy temper instead it does more damage um 
then chapels wise here's what I got for the first one accuracy uh, when you're building your chapels you wanna always first you gotta get your temper to 50 percent it's not difficult uh, if you got all signet rings like I do uh, with accuracy temper on them, you will only need one chapel with a with a with a purple temper on it. So after that, you want accuracy, and then after accuracy, crushing blow and crit in that order. So my second one, I got accuracy and or range damage. I forgot about range damage. Yes, always range damage as well. Uh, range damage when you're after when you're 20 yards away. This is why you want to stay 20 yards away from your enemy. Uh, third, crushing blow. Fourth, I do tempered and ranged damage. Accuracy on this. Crit, because there's nothing else useful. Crushing blow. And ranged damage on the last one. Uh, that's my chapel setup. Symbols. Here's what I use. I do bonus dash. I do it on everything, because it's fucking awesome. I do slowing attacks just for the combo with ruthlessness on trash uh, it'll slow the enemies and it'll increase my damage by two percent per and i got two of them um, then you want all four of these the impulse max recoil ultimate strength mobilization impulse is the last one you'll want to get out of all of these it takes a while to get all these so you leave the impulse to last um, a lot of people ignore it, but I like to keep it because my first missile salvo will pop this impulse. So that's basically another 60% damage on that first missile, which I like. And then Warrior's Creed, uh, Element of Surprise, I have Rapid Attack on, but yeah, you don't need it because you don't move on Gunner. So you, yeah, you can take that out. Um, then ruthlessness. Then I use all four dots because they do a lot, pretty quite a lot of damage, especially when you're rapid firing. They're basically all constantly on. Um, impacts again. I use in combo with ruthlessness for trash. Uh, Markadet. Obviously, I use might of the other worlds. Paladin symbol because yes, you get hit. <laughs> uh, then I use the Zerker, archer, kinetic. Alchemist, which symbols because they're all damage. I don't use the gunner one because it's kind of yeah, it's kind of situational. It has its uses, but I kind I just usually leave it out. Um, on your rotations, I give you the boss burn rotation for trash. Uh, what what I prefer? Well, if it's really big targets. Um, I want, and I've got missiles to spare, and I'm not trying to speed run. I uh, go into my missile launcher, and I hold right click. Right click will, in combination with this symbol, will throw shrapnel at all enemies, so it hits all enemies pretty damn hard. So if you got a lot of missiles, you'll wipe out a big group of tough enemies pretty fast. Um, if it's like just dot baby enemies I um, build up full heat beforehand with spamming rapid fire go into plasma I throw C uh, you gotta target it at your target and uh, throw that around all your enemies and then spam left click which with this will last longer and it will hit really hard it chains it chains off all every enemy in there so it does a lot of damage um, when that's on cooldown and there's still a lot of enemies, I just uh, throw my fire on and spam right click. If all the enemies are lined up perfectly straight, which is so awesome when they are, uh, if you got full plasma, go into plasma, line up and plasma beam, it will hit everything in a line really hard and it's awesome. Um, I think that's all. Um, I will do a uh, I'll run through on Gunner in another video later. Uh, for now, that's the setup, and enjoy Gunner.